Welcome to another video of the long termer. Today we have with us is the fourth generation of the Honda City. This is a 4-year-old car and has been driven close to 10000 kilometers. The car here is the VX variant of the Honda City, which is the top end variant of the manual transmission. In this video, I will be sharing with you the ownership experience of this 4-year-old City. Let me just show you the exterior of this car. In my personal opinion, this particular generation of the City looks the best of the lot. The exterior has lots of character elements that keeps the design involving. To my surprise, even the top end variant does not get reverse parking sensors but does come with a reverse parking camera. The car gets keyless entry and the key fob comes with the controls for the doors and the boot. This generation of the city came with the 510 liters of boot space which was adequately spaced. City styling has the blend of both subtleness and sportiness. The creases on the sideways wraps around to the rear portion of the car. The shark fin antenna add to the extra bit of sportiness. Even the 15-inch alloy wheels are quite a looker. The front look of the car is very aggressive, which is due to its angular lights and beefy chrome strip. Even the top end variant came with the halogen based headlamps and fog lamps. Even these tail lights were halogen based, but at night they do a fine job. Before moving ahead, do let me know your favorite generation of the city in the comment section. VX variant also came with an electronically operated sunroof which was the first in its segment feature and was also a welcome addition at this price point the car has chrome door handles on the door panel you get the control for the power window the leatherette panels also comes with perforated stitching there are also silver accents 1 liter bottle holder chrome handle with a tweeter adjacent to it here is an aftermarket scuff plate now coming to the rear seat of the car The VX variant of this Honda City used to get the leather seats and leather upholstery which is very comfortable. At the back you get the rear AC vent along with 212 volt power output. You get good amount of leg room and seating 3 people abreast will not be an issue at all. Here you even get a center armrest which is leather wrapped and it has two cup holders. Overall, if you want a chauffeur driven car and to you the rear seat comfort is of prime importance then the city offers a great deal chrome door handle along with the patch for the keyless entry let's check out the driver side the leather finish on the door panel looks very premium even the silver accents gives it a good contrast you get the four power window switches The driver side has an auto down and auto up bottle holder. The theme of the interior is in black which was beige in the other generations. Height adjust for the driver seat. With regards to the safety, the car gets dual airbags, ISOFIX child mounts, ABS and EBD. These are the pedals of the car. It even gets a footrest. The headlight leveler, controls for the ORVM. The car comes with analog based instrumental cluster the electronic steering for the convenience of passengers in front there is even a front armrest with a storage department the armrest is also finished in leather it cannot be slided but it is well placed manual IRVM on the driver side sunshade you don't get any vanity mirror or a ticket holder These are the reading lamps. You even get sunroof controls. On the passenger side, you get a vanity mirror. The overall material used in this car is very premium and there are no such hard plastics. This is the glove box of the car. It has ample storage. The fit and finish of the car is top notch. This is the 5-speed manual transmission. A 12 volt power output. The steering wheel comes with tilt adjust. 
the push button start stop of the car on the instrumental cluster there is a blue color illumination that really lights up the cabin on the right side you even get a multi information display steering mounted controls here you get a 15.7 cm touch infotainment system it even comes with inbuilt navigation system this is the fully automatic temperature controller it gets touch screen there are no physical controls and every time while driving the car you need to take your eyes off the road but in the fifth generation of the city honda has successfully rectified it the media controls on the right hand side you get the cruise control the analog instrumental cluster is very easy to read on the lower half of the steering wheel you get hands free telephonic controls as the car comes with bluetooth connectivity this is the leather wrapped steering wheel now coming to the infotainment system of the car this particular system gets fm am cd player aux and ipod connectivity it also has bluetooth compatibility now coming to the feedback of this touch screen at the start you'll get some time to get used to it but after some time things will be sorted out at broad daylight there may be some kind of difficulty in using the system the display of the camera these are the fuel led and bonnet opener let me just show you the engine bay of the car this car has the most iconic petrol ivtec engine which has been into existence for more than 20 years the noise levels of the car are well contained and is also well insulated even after all these years the car is very silent let us check out the driving dynamics of the car this petrol powered 1.4 liter ivtec engine produces 117 brake horsepower and the max torque of 145 newton meters the car has a linear delivery of power on offer and things keep going till the time you are gentle on the throttle but the moment you get hard on to the acceleration the actual glory of this vtec engine kicks in which will certainly help in taking those quick overtakes honda has tuned the suspension of this car to such a level that it soaks small bumps and potholes quite easily while cruising on the road in comparison to the hyundai verna the gearbox of the car is very light which really makes shifting gears pretty effortlessly the backlight of the instrument cluster also changes its color the overall visibility on offer is also very decent but at times i felt the a pillar had some kind of blind spots the steering wheel of the car in comparison to the hyundai verna does not feel underweight and gives the right amount of confidence to the driver especially in these sharper turns the car feels stable and planted around the corners the stopping power of the car is also very decent as it only gets disc brakes in the front set of wheels overall the car feels very plush and refined to drive in the used car market you can get a good deal for a 2016 honda city for roughly about 7 lakh rupees at this price point if you're looking for a new car either you'll get a hatchback or a base model of an entry level mid-size sedan but in place of that what you get in here is a more value for money proposition what you get here is a more refined spacious and feature loaded car at half of its price moreover honda has always been known for its durability and longevity now talking about the fuel efficiency figures of the car as per the owner's testimony the car easily churns out close to 13 to 15 kilometers per liters of fuel in city conditions which is pretty good to sum up i will definitely recommend this car to the people who are looking out for sheer driving experience with the right amount of luxury kindly subscribe to my channel for seeing more such reviews thanks for watching